Hello, Thomas Paltzer here with Tom's Tips, episode 16. Uh, beautiful rainy days or stopping to smell the roses. I haven't decided what I'm going to title this one yet. Anyway, and before I get into it, um, since today is Wednesday, I want to, I guess, put in a, a quick reminder that tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, we're having a free training uh, on how to get more leads and signups for your business. Uh, by a six or seven figure earner you can register at thomaspulzer.com forward slash webinar okay now that, that that's done um, and hang around because I have a story out of my own personal life that I'm going to share so this may take a minute um, it kind of originated from uh, reading this book again this wisdom to know I'm read parts of this uh, it's only a page so it shouldn't take too long and I probably, I may not read the whole page. Anyway, um, all right, so it starts with working so hard for the rewards we want, we miss the gifts already present that God wants to give us. It's anonymous. Um, it says we cannot win many of the good things in life. We can only receive them. Uh, it's like falling asleep. No one can will himself to sleep. If we could, there'd be no such thing as a sleepless night. The harder we try, the more awake we become. Uh, we can only allow ourselves to fall asleep. We cannot create a sunny day or a beautiful sight in nature, uh, but we can block them from our awareness. We cannot fall in love by force, but we can prevent it from happening by our willfulness or busy habits. Our raging appetites and anxious state of mind can drive us willy-nilly in search of satisfaction while more profound gifts are already in our hands. Uh, many valuable gifts are available only if we stay open to receive them. A wise man grows past our society's mainstream idea that anything worth having requires hard work. The ultimate truth is that God's grace provides what we need. Our work is in learning how to get or how to let go and to be receptive. Today I will open myself to the gifts already in my hands. I guess I did end up reading the whole thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, now, what that kind of tells me, and, and things, what are you grateful for today? Like I told you, I was going to tell you a story. Now, on my way to California on a motorcycle, uh, back this is back in 87, I was 21 years old. Uh, uh, I rode the first night through and then it started raining on me hard at 11 o'clock in the morning. So I pulled over, this is in Council Bluff, Iowa, shout out to Council Bluff, Iowa, had a ball there. Anyway, um, and I'm about to tell you about it. <laughs> um, Alright, so I pulled in at 11 o'clock at this truck stop and I have lunch and I was still drinking that time so I had like one or two beers. Waiting around, waiting around. I go outside, you know, it's still raining. Two o'clock, still raining, pouring. Uh, gray sky everywhere I could see. So I look I look around on the intersection corner, which is right off the freeway. And on one corner, there is a hotel, Holiday Inn or something. And on the next corner, a titty bar. And, you know, the truck stop I was at, and the other corner was empty. Anyway. So before I went and got a room, I went over to the titty bar and uh, met uh, uh, a nice young lady over there. Anyway, so I went and I got a room. Then I went back to the bar. And when she got off, of, well, you know, I told her I was passing through and I'm on my way to California. Oh, anyway, uh, uh, after she got off, she took me, she hopped on the back of my motorcycle and took me around to five other bars um, by then it had quit raining um, which I think she was in the afternoon crew so she probably got off at like six o'clock I think anyway one got something to eat and she took me around to five other uh, topless bars and backstage and all of them I got to meet all the girls um, yeah, up close which <laughs> that's an experience anyway uh, uh, she never did give it up in other words I never did sleep with her but you know, she said I had to stick around you know 
<laughs> uh, but anyway, the following day, I still left that town singing, let it rain, let it rain. Uh, <clears throat> oh, well, I hope you liked the story. I hope you got some value out of this. Um, there, uh, in other words, be aware and allow yourself to be happy. You know, just because it's raining out doesn't mean it's a bad day. Um, yeah. Stop and smell the roses. Anyway, I hope you got some value out of this. It's gone on long enough. I hope you enjoyed my story. If you did, please like, comment, or share. Make sure you come and visit us tonight and have an awesome day. Thanks.